when Brad and Robert first came to me and, and talked to me about doing the end of season seven, uh, the uh, Lost City uh, uh, two-parter, I was thrilled because I thought, okay, this is a great way to set up whatever's coming on next, which is possibly a movie, which is possibly a new series and things like this. I had no idea it was going to be what uh, Atlantis has actually turned into. And Atlantis is absolutely an amazing way of, of uh, um, continuing the Stargate saga. And that's what really, I think when you're trying to create a spin-off, you have two choices. One is you can take a character or two from the, the established series and and uh, throw them into a new situation and it all becomes about the, the characters you know, carrying on their um, uh, their own story, or you can take the idea, the mythology that you have in established series like Stargate, um, SG One, and then you spin that mythology off in a different way. And I think I think that this is what Brad and Robert do really well. This is why when you do a spin off with the same creators, you do the, the best thing you could possibly do, which is um, you hold the integrity of the of the, the series of SG One. Um, and you put it into a brand new package. The, the danger, of course, is that, you're gonna, that your fans are going to be disappointed when they see that because they're looking for, they're looking for SG-1 and they're not going to find it in a new series unless that continuity of mythology is there and you find interactions with characters that will take them on to the next level. So they still get the idea of Stargate SG-1, they still get the mythology of Stargate SG-1 that they're very familiar with, and uh, you get it in a new package, and the new package is absolutely astounding. My God! Very nice! Print that one. Print both of them today.